Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you are watching me play the Guild Wars 2 Living Story. We are on with the next part of the Dragon's Reach, part 1. I think we're up to part 5 now. I forget, I haven't really been counting. And we are off, done in Frost Gorge here, and we are off to the other side of the world, sort of. Eh, it's not that far. To Ascalon. To meet up with Rox and see what kind of trouble she's getting herself into. Hello, Plains of Ashford. Oh, no Harpy Raid. Fun fact, there's an event that goes on over here at these mortars where a bunch of Harpies fly in and attack. And if there's a bunch of people around, there's a bunch of Harpies. And back during launch... My engineer ran around there with his flamethrower. Flamethrowing harpies was so much fun. Because they all die screaming and on fire. It was glorious. Defense Plan of attack. Offense. Angry Char is angry. Hi, Rox. I'm glad you're here. I was dreading to have to do this without backup. I sent Tribune Brimstone a mail asking if he would forward our summit invitation to Smoter. And his response was to order you to meet in person. Yeah, no way around it now. This is too important a cause. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I don't want to see his disappointment in me. He has nothing to, to be disappointed about. He did what you had to do. And I'd do it again to save Bram. Or any of you. No one is dispensable. Not even for the glory and ticket of taking down Scarlet. I know him. He'll understand. He's lost people, too. Thanks. I needed to hear that. Let's get this over with, okay? Let's do it! Well, Rox, you're actually showing your face. That shows courage, considering what you're here for. Tribune? You want me to talk the Imperator into attending your summit, and yet you disobeyed my order to end Scarlet. I... Um, I had to make a battlefield decision, Tribune. If it hadn't been for our friend here, Scarlet would still be out there murdering people and ruining Tyria one city at a time. Yes, Tribune. At ease, soldier. Excuse me while I discuss this with someone I know I can rely on. Ooh, he said a mean thing to her. I know that. Look, you don't have to defend rocks, you know. Well, you sure haven't lost any of your drill sergeant charm. I know. I'm rough on her, but someone has to be. She's too soft inside. She'd have been dead long ago if I hadn't toughened her up. You going to punish her for not killing Scarlet? Nah, I understand why she did it. Besides, she's a free agent now. She and I don't need to see eye to eye anymore. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm not going to give her grief when she needs it. She still answers to the legions. Sure, but being a free agent means she has her mission and she's expected to figure out how to do it herself. She's on her own. Rox has a mission? What is it? All free agents have missions. Some deliver messages, some fight elder dragons. We don't talk about it. Got it. So she told you why we're here? Not much. In her mail she mentioned something about how you want Imperator Smoter to attend some strategic gathering. We need you to talk to him for us. I could just walk up and say hi Tribune. to the Imperator. I we also have information office. that will interest you and Imperator Smoter. It's about the Elder Dragons. I know. Words reached me that Mordromoth is active. That's an understatement. It's been destroying entire forts. We're not sure how far it can reach. The Black Citadel... Has enough to worry about with branded and Ascalonian ghosts. I'll talk to him. And if that's not enough, it takes everything else we've got to keep the Flame Legion off our ramps. Before you know it, you'll be adding Mordramoth to that list. Tribune, the Branded are contained to one region. Mordramoth is quickly spreading across all of Tyria. It has already reached as far as Timberline Falls and Kessex Hills. It's sending vine tendrils outward, underground, growing like a malicious vine. Yeah, it's also at further east in the Iron Marches, so... Uh, if that's true, then the Shiver Peaks will block it. I don't see how it can grow through solid rock. We'll be protected. It'll come through fields of ruin, but there's another cost to ignoring it. That's right. What happens to us if everyone else's armies are destroyed because we char cut to ourselves? We have to stand together. And we have to take on the greatest threat first. That's Mordremoth. You don't have to tell me how dangerous Elder Dragons are. 
Convincing me and convincing Imperator Smoter are two different things entirely. There must be something we can do to convince him. As a matter of fact, that's why I asked you to come in person. I carry Sohothan, my blade. It's said to have the power to reverse the foe fire. Is that true, or just a myth? I plan We're about to, to find it. out. After years of research, I finally found the proper combination of elements to unlock the sword's powers. You could rid us of all the ghosts? That's the idea. We do that and Smoter will have less to worry about. Then we can convince him to attend the summit. Whether or not this will work remains to be seen. I've researched the ritual and I learned a lot about Ascalonian history. This story began over a thousand years ago, when this ritual was first formulated by the humans' gods, the Six. Please go on. The Six gave them magic. At the same time, they also gave one of them a magical crown and two magical swords to protect the kingdom. So Hothan and Magdair, I think I said that right, and King Adelburn had inherited the crown? Exactly. The crown was designed to break into four parts. When the fragments are separated, they're hard to see. This is a safeguard to keep this powerful item from falling into the wrong hands. And the crown is required for the ritual. It is. When Adelburn enacted the ritual with Magdare, he became a ghost, but the crown was preserved and found by Char, who entered the area later. They toyed with it, and the fragments were lost. And you found them. I found one. I'm asking you to go find the others. The fragments work like magnets to each other. Once you have one, you'll feel a pull towards the others. Even after all this time, you're sure they're there? I'm hopeful. We need the crown to perform the ritual. Might as well assume they're there. You, Ritlock Brimstone, are going to perform a ritual? If it means I succeed at breaking the faux fire curse, then I'd put on a robe and call myself Shaman Brimstone. There's a lot at stake here, my friend. Point taken. I'll go find the crown fragments. Rex can help you get set up. Retrieve the first crown fragment from the ruins of Old Gates. I am doing more location hopping. Oh, I should have seen if there was anything to talk to Rax about afterwards. Oh, I missed dialogue bits. Alright. 2 d Running around all over the damn place for this chapter. I think I said that last time. After the machine neutralizes the ghosts. Alright. Ah, Raw Crankmane. Your ghost machines that you've been setting up for so long are finally doing something. Faint glow of a crown fragment shines through the rubble. Second, from Serenity Temple. Where is Serenity Temple? Oh god, it's out in the Blaze Ridge. I have not been out there yet on this character. Well, I guess we get to go running. Chop the tree, chop the tree. Is taller than I remember Tokawa saplings being. Either that, or I just never paid attention to Tokawa saplings in the past, and they've always been that tall. All right. I wonder if the Shatterer is going up at the bat. Let's see, where are they? No, nope, that is not where the Shatterer is. Let's go visit the Dragon Brand!
power point. After this guy finishes his stuff and surrender the temple, which does not seem to be going, I'm going to commune with this place of power here. Give me a magic skill point. And here it is. Hey. I do not appreciate that. Now you're dead, again, because you're a ghost who was already dead. The faint glow of a crown fragment shines through the rubble. Oh. Retrieve Bria. Oh, great. I gotta go kill Bria. Off to the Iron Marches. Hypothetically, I could just walk, but that requires time. Which I do not feel like spending, and you probably don't want to watch me just walk. If Bria will be up into the haunted woods where there's lots of woodcutters who have been separated from their bodies. In Bria, the necromancer ghost lady sometimes abducts young Char and tries to eat their souls or something. But she is away right now. Turn to them in Ashford. Oh. Plan of attack. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Look, it's the Imperator. It. Not that I doubted you for a minute. At ease, soldier. Your deeds have reached my ears, as has your invitation. If this mission is even remotely successful, I will attend your summit. Let's hear your plan, Brimstone. Rox has nothing to say. You're back. Did you have any luck? Yes, I found them all. Great. Give me the crown. All right. Tell me more about the ritual. It all hinges on Sohothan, my sword. There were originally two of them, Sohothan and another called Magdare. They were given to the Ascalonians to protect against invasions. Go on. A couple hundred years ago or so, Sohothan was wielded by Rurik, son of King Adelburn. He was killed by a stone summit dwarf. It came into my care several years ago. How did you get it? Oh, we're not going to learn. Irrelevant. Point is that its partner, Magdare, is a sword Adelburn used to curse the Ascalonians. I have long suspected that Sohothan is the blade that can break the curse. Okay, so how? I have had my snap buried in old scrolls and books at the Priory. Funny. Ritlock doesn't seem... Is one who would spend a lot of time in the Priory. One of the scholars there has been helpful. There has been helping me tack together the history. I finally found a reference to a ritual. And you trust the source? It's got an orange stamp on it, which makes it so old it's got to be legitimate. In any case, I have to try. If it works, we'll be free. Tell me what you need. Once we're inside, we need to channel ghost essence into the sword to fire it up. That means slashing lots of ghosts. So, high stakes, big danger. Sounds like fun. Let's go. Speak with Smodar. We may be on a fool's errand, but it's worth a try. Ritlock has done the impossible before. These ghosts have plagued my people for too long. I spend every day looking for ways to end it. If this works, it would be a boon for both Char and humans. True, it must be infuriating for humans, even those who aren't descended for us from Ascalonians. Maybe it'll help us get the treaty signed. Well, that treaty still hasn't signed yet. It's been like, what, two, a year or two now after the personal story when the whole treaty signing thing started? They still haven't made a treaty. 
Diplomacy is slow. Yeah, all the more reason why this needs to work. Your help is not going unnoticed. I do do just about anything for Ritlocker Rocks. Rocks! Looks like we've got everything we need. The crown you put together is historic. It practically crackles with the weight of Ascalon's ancestors. If this works, we'll go down in history ourselves. I'm already in history. I killed Zaitan. Do you think it will? I mean, surely getting rid of all the ghosts can't be this easy. It's not. Who said it was easy? Getting the crown was no stroll. Yeah, it was. You just watch me. I walk up to three rock piles and boom, loot. And on the other side of that gate, we've got ghosts building up just waiting for us to come through. I hope their essences can charge so Sohothan. I guess that we'll will be it. everything we need to cleanse the faux fire. How do you know this will work? It'll work because I said so. And if not, on point, it'll work because yes, I violence sir. things enough. No, I'm on point. I want to be on point. I'm the player character. We don't know what's down there. Be ready for anything. I know what's down there. Ghosts. Alright, let's save just some ghosts. Oh, I can't loot all the... Can't loot all the, uh... Sarcophagi. Is that poor off a sarcophagus? Sarcophagi? Or am I just making that up? Could just be making that up, but it sounds legit, so we'll go with it. Eight, 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 eight. For great justice. I will do you in an archer battle, just because. I win! There's a shiny spot on the floor. There's smoter. Where's rocks? Did we lose rocks? I think we lost rocks. Oh, rocks! There you are. Tomb is just ahead. That's where we'll test the faux fire cleansing. It's a place of power. I guess there's no turning back once we step through that arch, huh? You prefer to go back to the Farrar, Cub? No, sir. All right, let's do this shit. You have to be ready. This could go in any direction. There's no way of predicting what this ritual will do. It will do things. I know this much. Let's do it. I hope this works. For luck. <laughs> you used to do that when you were a cub. Come on, let's get this over with. Something's happening. Those ghosts don't seem to like your sword very much. Well, the statue is reconstituting. Constituting. They're possessing what's left of Baradin's statue. Someone once told me nothing worth fighting for is ever easy. <laughs> you do. The possessed statue. Big AoE there. Hello, statue. It's nice to get to beat up on you again. And by beat up on you, I mean I'm gonna stand here and whack at your base indefinitely. Nope. Oh. 
Poor timing on the dodge. Been, why is it been unity? I have to kill the mage, probably. Maybe, yes, let's do it. Standing where the orange circle is is a bad idea. Because the ceiling falls down on me from there. Mender, kill the Mender. Mender Blender. Oh, I'm still not good enough to dodge that. Did I, like, completely and utterly botch this up and, you know... What the hell was that? Hey, it worked! Alright. Back to your normal statue violence. I do believe I dodged through the falling ceiling. No. Kill the ghosts. A fear ward. Uh, out of the falling seal. I want the first slice. Hello, phone. Mender. He did. He don't like to be dead. Moving out. Shake it off. No, cut that out. Don't run over there. I'm over here. My fire on the ground is here. Ouch. Blend the statue into dust. We have somehow poisoned it and crippled it. Hooray! I dodged! Ouch. Hooray! I have slaughtered the statue. Again. I seem to be stuck. Ascalon! I free you from this curse! I have to go after it! 
Without it, we'll never end this war. Go! Well, are you? The portal is closed. You can't. But, uh... Stand down, soldier. You'll be fine. If anything, I'd be worried for the poor souls that get in his way. This is his mission, not yours. Okie dokie. Gritlock just jumped down a hole in the, uh... This is fun. Brimstone will be back. Don't worry. Took a lot of ghosts with him. I noticed he may not have ended the curse, but he had an effect, and you played a pivotal role. I'll come to your summit for that reason alone. Even after the cleansing failed, the cleansing's not over. Brimstone's dedication to his duty will bring him back. The least I can do is honor his commitment by attending the summit. That's good. Thank you. You won't regret it. Well, I'm not so sure about that, but I keep my word. I'll be there. See you there, Imperator. Thank you. Rocks. What just happened? It looked to me like that was a portal to the mists. The mists? I hope so. At least we know you can come back from the mists. What was he thinking? He had to go after Sohothan. I suppose. At least now we have more hope that the sword might one day break the curse. I guess it's our only chance of getting rid of, of the ghosts for good. My thoughts exactly. I just wish he hadn't gone alone. I agree. If only the portal hadn't closed so quickly. I suppose there's no way to find him. No, none. The mists are vast. Are you alright? I will be. My heart is still hammering. I just have to keep telling myself he'll be fine. He's been in bigger scrapes, still. I know, I worry too. At least the Imperator has agreed to come to the summit. That's one consolation. Yes, his presence is important. The Char army is powerful. I would know I am part of it. So, Flunt hasn't backed out. What about Queen Jenna? Flunt's waiting on Timmy's device. Casimir's convincing the Queen to come. Kira Bone River, what if they don't come? What if no one comes? What if no one comes to the party? Well... <laughs> I can't even think about how devastating that would be to Tyria. They must. Hooray! Stuff. And I believe that was the end. Episode complete. Alrighty. Well, that looks like that is the end of this chapter of the living story. I uh, get up, last goodbye. And just like that, he's gone. A bag of his old belongings is all that left. He'll be back. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that seems to be it for uh, Dragon's Reach Part 1. We can see what other fun and exciting things happen in Part 2. Maybe Part 3 if they take it that long. But there's going to at least be a Part 2 because they wouldn't have bothered to label this part one if there wasn't going to be at least a part two. So, obviously, as we saw, the faux fire cleansing thing didn't work, which was one of the, the big thing that I was curious about in the trailer. It's like, wow, they're doing real. This is serious stuff. And it didn't work. But, I do believe me and Rox are synced up in our animations almost. That amuses me. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for things you think that I should play, or maybe goofy Guild Wars shit I should do, or if you just want to give me a shot and let me know how I'm doing, just drop me a comment below. And who knows, I may end up playing something you suggest someday. If I never run out of things to play, it might happen. I do have an ass load of Steam games in my library to play that I could feasibly record myself doing, but eh, who knows. We'll see what uh, goes when we get there. PC only at the moment, because that's all I can record on. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nano Elite 666 I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next chapter.